Hi, welcome to my Harmsent playthrough of Portal. This is part one, test chamber zero to ten. Oh well, might as well just clog the toilet. You know how it is. Wait a minute, he's meant to smash that, sorry. Wait a minute. There we go. Go. This. Yeah, sure it is. Thanks for that. Again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention. You don't clog the toilet because I say so. This takes way too long. And this is the only form of entertainment you have within this time. Come on. Hit in the toilet. And of course, flush the toilet. Oh, come on. Serious injuries may occur there we go. for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from the portal will open in three. Not flushing the radio because that's important, by the way. Anyway. <gasps> oh my goodness me. Like I'm in there. <gasps> Alright, sorry about that. Yeah, this portal, by the way. I know I said that before, but at the same time. There's not much else to say. It's pretty self-explanatory this part. You just listen to what GLaDOS has to say. Pick up stuff like I did before. Press it on the big old button. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. Okay, As this is... However, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material events a patient grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Or the aperture science um, radio telecommunication, whatever this thing is. The reason why I insist on bringing this because listen very carefully. You might know about this, but if you don't, listen very carefully. Oh, done it didn't play it. Oh well. Maybe I'll play it next time. Yeah, they sort of speak. And I really like to point that out because I they speak, but I guess not. Sorry about that. Yeah, pretty self explanatory. There's not much else to say, I think. It's just there for you. Now, first test chamber. Nothing to write home about. Quite clearly. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 yeah. Yeah. aperture science heavy duty super. You gotta wait until you see the room with the. Weighted, comp weighted cube, weighted aperture science cube, like this thing here. Then the button, like so. Perfect. And wait for the exit. The lock, yeah. Thanks for that, Glados. Good to know. So yeah. I just did is try and ease you into the game because this was an unseen concept back in the, back in like 2006. Chamber two. That a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the aperture science material emancipation grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Yeah, go watch out for that. Okay, I'm just joking when I say that. Cause, well, that's just gump because you don't need to know that. All you need to know is that this is the portal gun right here. You'll need it if you want to cross. This part here because you are now in possession of the a portal. science and health portal device. Mm -hmm. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. Oh dear. That's not good. Kind of glitched out there for a moment. But anyway, you're meant to go through here like so. Because this opens up. I think there's nothing much else to do here. Yeah, most of it's just a repeat. But you got to do this though. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. You actually get an achievement for this, by the way. Um, if you destroy enough of those um, 
um, the vital testing apparatus, i.e. the CCT, what looks to be a CCTV camera. If you draw enough of them, you actually can achieve it for that, which I find very interesting. When I first played this, I, of course I did that, so... Of course, during this playthrough, I'm going to keep doing that, by the way. Right. Please proceed to the chamber. Nothing new here. Mind the gap. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Which is what Gladys would have said if it, she wasn't talking, by the way. Anyway. Just got to place portals here and here. Again, just trying to ease you into the concept. By only having... By only well being able to make the blue remember, one at the moment. The aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. Good to know. For your own safety, do not destroy... Oh, she doesn't say it yet. You don't, don't say it yet, that's a bit of a shame. We do enough times, GLaDOS just simply states, Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Right. Welcome to test chamber four. Test chamber four. Well. Yeah, I am doing quite well, thank you very much. Right, so there's some falling objects, gotta watch out for them. Like on those Lego instruction manual with the little character getting hit by the bullet, sort of like that in a way. Yeah, watch your head. I'll destroy the cameras later, it's just you gotta place a portal down here, place the cube in the portal. Don't know why I just threw it up, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Yeah, and like so. I wanted it to land like so. It's not so great for me. Oops. We will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. The what? Vital testing, testing apparatus, apparatus destroyed. destroyed. I told you. You do it enough, she just, sim just simply sets, set, states that, so that's why I keep doing it. Eh, uh, I could leave them here, but I want to vaporize them because I say so. You don't have to do this, just, I, I just like doing it. But if you do want the achievement where, I think it's called Camera Shy, you do have to keep destroying these, by the way. I don't know how many you have to destroy, but if you just keep doing what I'm doing, you'll likely get the achievement. But you don't have to vaporize them, it's just detach them from the walls, and that should count. I just vaporize them because I think it's funny. Right, so this is test chamber five. Being told not going to be monitored, so of course these going to have to go. All right, more falling objects. Watch out for that. It should break off now. Vital there we go. Yeah, yellow, um, an orange portal spawn, so it broke off. All right, so it's a test cube there. You can knock it like you, I did there. Just place a portal there, and knock it off. And the second one. On it. You gotta get both these cubes on the but on the two of these buttons because if you simply stand on it, it closes when you move off, so you gotta watch out for that. The only way to get to the second one is by doing what I did before. Going through the blue portal and placing the blue portal here and go through the orange one like that. So get the other one and place that on the button, and that should be the test chamber. Almost done, but not As quite. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this go. chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two. Oh dear. We gotta get that fixed. Vital testing apparatus. You know how to do it. I know I didn't vaporize so long, but oh well. You don't have to, it's just I love doing it. <laughs> right, here we are, test chamber six. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the aperture science high energy pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. Yeah, do not make contact with this. If you've played Half-Life 2, this thing should be familiar to you because it's the same plasma orb that you're meant to use the gravity gun to sort of break objects or to remove power from certain things. So it's the same thing as that, but this time, the concept sort of changed. Instead of grabbing it from the midair, you have to 
get it through the portal hut here and into the like so. It's an interesting remix of a pre-existing gimmick. Or an established gimmick, I should say. So yeah. Watch out for that, because you will instantly die if you make contact with it. Which I don't think you do in Half-Life 2, I'm not too sure about that. Oh well. Here we are. Test chamber. Is it the same test chamber? No, this is test chamber 7. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate a high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. I see that as a good thing, so that can be very stressful. But anyway, like before, we portal here so the pellet goes in there and up there. To activate that thing. I use the aperture science unstationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Alright, so what you meant to do is you meant to place a portal up here and look through the orange one and wait for the platform to be in its original position. You could have stood on the platform before you activated it, but I decided not to for some reason. So it's a bit more tedious, sorry about that. No snowlands. Another thing which I find a little bit worrying. Hmm. Like, all the laboratories seem to be empty. It's almost like I'm the only person here. Oh. Alright, I don't want to ruin my, um, whatever the satisfactory mark, unsatisfactory mark of my record was. That's not a good thing. And also I value my life, so I'd rather not fall into the weird sewage water. But anyway, as I was saying before, yep, sewage water, don't drink here, that's not a good thing. And this puzzle again involves the Half-Life 2 um, energy pellet thing. Alright, so what you're meant to do is... You see it sort of bounce off the walls here and here. You're meant to place a blue portal here. So it goes to the orange one. Place a blue portal here. Before it goes back into the orange one. So it goes out and goes into here. Alright, so now that platform's activated. You need to enter the blue portal from here. Here from there, and then place another one here. Look into the orange one and wait for the platform to be in the right position. If you don't, you're probably going to end up in the sewage water, which I don't think it's very sanitary. Hmm, not very clean to say at least. So I'll not go in there as well. It's probably corrosive, hence the reason why you probably die from it. Anyway, just walk off. Here. Very and that's that. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. I just may say that, but trust me when I say that stuff's deadly. Do not jump in. Just because it looks dirty doesn't mean it isn't corrosive. Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no. no attempt to solve it. I'm already at test chamber nine. I got ten more to go. All the same things. Cube, but this is impossible. I can't beat it because what you meant to do is grab this thing here and p put it over by the button. But the thing is in the way, and it vaporizes the cube. So there's no way of beating the it because. For this clearly broken test chamber. So you can't place any portals on the other side either, so what are you gonna do? Well, it's just a ruse, it's an illusion, because what you meant to do is go up here, place the cube here, and shoot into the little hole there, and go back in. Once again, the enrichment center offers like so. the most sincere apologies. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in yep, an I atmosphere did. of extreme pessimism. Yeah, it's just a ruse, like I said before. Just made you think 
that way. It's like a placebo. It's not real. Well, I hope you know a thing or two about physics, because I took physics and I it wasn't my strongest subject, to say at least. But one thing I can tell you for a fact that this is test chamber ten, ten, and momentum plays a big role in this. You can't jump up here, but there's a portal here, and what you're meant to do is walk over here like so. Wait a minute, jump in. So I'm sort of demonstrating it. Yeah, you meant to do that. No, it wasn't very well demonstrated, but sorry about that. What this is, like you see here, jump in the portal on the on the ground, and you'll go flying up that one. Watch very carefully. Jump in the blue one, and there you go. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Yep. Oh. Right. You can't place a portal when that's moving, by the way, but you can now. But it's not moving, you can, but when you, it is, you can't. And jump into the orange one. And you go flying forward. Momentum. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Thanks for that. Um, yeah, this pushes forward so you can make it cross pits again. And in you go. And that's that done. Not too difficult, once you understand it. At least for me. So that was part one, chambers zero to ten. Keep in mind this game isn't very long, and I'm already halfway through it, but from what I've seen thus far, the game is pretty cool. And forgot to mention that at the moment, you're only able to make blue portals, but trust me, Test Chamber 11, you get the portal gun that is able to make orange portals. So yeah, my only guess is the reason why I did this is just because it's trying to ease you in the game, as I said before. Because this was an unseen concept, and having two portals right off the bat might be a bit too confusing. So yeah, it's good that they give you one at first, then you can have two. So yeah. Also, I want to point out something that I feel is a minor gripe, to be honest. But my main issue that I have a portal is that it sort of uses quite a lot of assets from Half-Life 2. And Half-Life 1, to be more precise, which... Half-Life 2 also used, but when you open the bed and leave, I think that's a stock sound effect from Half-Life, the original game. I'm not such a big fan of that, by the way. It just doesn't make the game seem more original, but fortunately in the sequel, they fixed that, and I don't think really much was recycled from Half-Life 2 or Half-Life, but then again, I'm pretty sure this game was made a short amount of time. I'm not too sure if it was exactly, but if it was, that would make sense why quite a lot of Half-Life 2 assets were used. But also, there was a, quite a lot of original Portal assets that sort of blend together, to be honest, with the but it's all dirty and not very clean. So I do like that because Half-Life 2 is sort of that post-apocalyptic sort of everything's dirty and not very clean and Paul tries to keep it consistent so there's sort of a blend between these two but I just wanted to point that out because I'm not such a big fan of that but I do like the fact that they sort of blend in well together but enough of that, that's just a minor gripe. Anyway, I'll see you when I do part two where I do all the rest of the chambers in the game, that um, chambers 11 to 19. So yeah, see ya then.